Hello everyone, I am Stephanie, an artist living in Van France. It's going to be a very chill video today because I'm having a tiny micro art haul. I got new art supplies over the weekend and I wanted to try them out. Just a chill video of me doing a real-time ink drawing and watercolor in my sketchbook. Nothing fancy, just some magnolia flowers that you're going to see later on. First, I am just opening the thing that I got. I got some new ink. So some of you have recommended that I try the Diatramentus ink. I actually bought these inks directly from Diatramentus. So it's a German brand. And so I got the black, the pink, the, fuch the fuchsia, fuchsia, I'm not sure how you say it in English, magenta ink. They're all waterproof. They're all super light fast, which is very important to me. They're also very expensive. I think um, I paid about 60 euros for those three inks, which is kind of insane uh, if you think of it. But yeah, I'm, I know I'm going to use them. If you're looking for ink, there are much cheaper inks out there. Uh, this is really if you need light fast inks, uh, if you sell your original artwork, if you're serious about your artwork. But if it's just for your sketchbook, then by all means take some other inks. Usually the ink that I use is also German ink, but it's a fraction of that price. It's quite good, but it's not uh, usable in fountain pen inks. Those three can be used in fountain pen inks. I like them. They're more fluid than the one from Aurora und Klingner that I usually use. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. I'm not too convinced about the white one, but I will make more tries in the future and see how that goes. And the other thing that I bought and absolutely did not need <laughs> are some more watercolors. I bought some more watercolors from Isaro also directly from their own web shop then Belgium, which is also very close to France. And uh, I got five colors from them. Now, the one I really, really wanted is the pink one, which is ultramarine pink. I really like mono pigment uh, paints. Uh, this is really what I prefer using. Yeah, I really wanted to try it because it looked pale enough. And I have to say, this pigment, it's PR259, mixed with my usual most loved pigment, which is uh, the Kinacridone Magenta, P PR122. Those two mixed together make for the most beautiful pastel, but at the same time very vibrant pink. So I do not regret that color at all. The four other colors, I mean, they're really beautiful. I'm not sure they're completely my style. I tend to mix my own colors, but they looked so gorgeous and I've been I've been a bit intrigued by Mika and glittery colors lately, and so I took two of them. So we've got Eternal Summit, which is a very light kind of light bluish purple. Then I've got another one with Mika as well, which is Icy Lake. And uh, that's ultramarine blue and uh, PBR7. And then the other two um, are also mixes. So again, something very unlikely uh, for me to do. I don't really buy mixes. I tend to avoid them. I was really intrigued by the colors and um, I probably have seen one too many art hauls <laughs> on YouTube. So don't don't be like me. Don't um, don't do that. Although technically you're watching one right now. So um, I guess, sorry. Um, but yeah, the, the other colors are really nice as well. But if I can recommend one color, it's really that ultramarine pink. Really love that color. The other ones are beautiful. I will use them. And um, if I don't use them in paint, I also can mix them in clay. That's also why I prefer colors in, that comes in tubes, because then I can mix the colors more easily in clay. So yeah, I tend to stick to tubes more than anything else. I also really wanted to try something a bit different today, and it's an almost real-time painting, so I didn't sped up any part of it. I did cut out a few bits here and there, especially when you don't see my hand and I'm simply rinsing the brush, just because otherwise it gets, <laughs> it gets too boring. 
but yeah it's almost real time what you see so that's kind of new i've been actually really inspired by other artists on youtube i've been watching a bunch of them and i have a few crushes but the my latest crush is a youtuber called ashaya art she's russian and she makes the most gorgeous but cute at the same time illustrations it's just really nice to watch her videos she doesn't talk at all but there's a mood to her videos that i really enjoyed and i found it actually quite fascinating to watch it in real time so i just wanted to sh try this on my own and see how it goes it's not going to be something that i will do on the regular because as you know most of my artworks take at the very least five hours i think that's like the bare minimum that i can make for a proper artwork however for sketchbook practices and this is uh yeah just sketchbook reference that i want and needed for a bigger illustration or drawing, painting, whatever I'm working on. So that's fine, I can master something in half an hour or so. But anything else is not going to be too doable in real time. But since I wanted to try all those pinks, and really wanted to try that pink ink to see how that would go on an illustration, I went with that. And uh, yeah, I do like the pink ink. Uh, it's not too pink. It's on the darker side, so it's not um, it's not too vibrant, if you see what I, I mean. I, I was afraid that it might be a bit too saturated and then you can't really work um, as a drawing, I think, if it's too saturated. Obviously it works well with pinks. I didn't take too much uh, risks when working on that one. But I do need to try and see, I'm thinking orange and yellows, warmer colors basically might work well, purple as well. Um, so yeah, I have to try a bit and see what I like best. And then, you know, just dive in and do a huge or bigger proper illustration with it and go from there. So yeah, that's, that's to try. And I also said in the beginning that I wasn't too convinced about the white ink. Now, with most inks, and I don't know why I didn't thought of that before, but with most inks, um, when you start with an ink drawing, that's fine. But then you go in with the watercolors and it kind of changes the texture of the paper. It's hard to explain. But when you go back with ink on top of a watercolor colored paper, then the ink tends to spread a lot more on the paper. I'm not sure it makes sense. And so when I tried the white ink on a piece of watercolor, it's just, just a real quick, it's, it isn't even a sketch, it's just a try basically. The ink, um, the white ink tended to spread a little bit too much. And so, yeah, I feel like finding the right medium to um, be able to draw fine white lines is not as easy and I'm just not completely sure that this ink is going to be the solution for it. So I'm still going to be able to use it probably more with a brush than with a dip pen, maybe in a bit of larger areas. I have no clue honestly for now, we will see how it goes. And the black ink is just, it's good black ink. It's as black as my normal ink or the, not normal but the ink that i usually use so i know i will use it i'm not um i'm not worried at all about it and again the good thing about that specific ink is that you can use it in fountain pens and this is also why i wanted to get it because if <laughs> whenever we'll we'll be able to travel again i i'm going to travel with a fountain pen to be able to draw on the go um dip pen is not really an option when you tr when you want to draw on the go it's i mean it's always an option but it's going to be um it's it's just too annoying so fountain pen it will be and um and in that sense i will be able to use that ink which i'm looking forward to you can use as well um it's all the inks from that brand i think uh, at least the Diatramentus, because there are other inks on their website. I didn't look too much into it. I went straight for the most expensive stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, it's good ink, good quality ink. If you're looking for something, again, very light, fast, archival, um, then 
it's good for you but yeah if it's just for for your sketchbook then probably not you're you're better off with cheaper inks on another note since i've been watching so much so many art related youtube videos i get now recommended way too many art hauls and here's my watercolor collection or stuff like that and i'm a little bit taken aback by certain videos where people basically collect art supplies but don't seem to use them much um so it's a sort of hoarding i think in a way but art supplies related. So I can understand it partly. I do like art supplies like any other artist, but I like art supplies if I can use them. And if I cannot use them, then they just getting in my way, if that makes sense. So I don't mind when I realize certain art supplies are not light fast. I'm looking at you colored pencils. <laughs> But, uh, but because I can use them for other things, you know, I have, and now I have a lot of colored pencils that are not light fast enough for my liking and from what I saw and found out online. And so um, I put them aside and I use them in my sketchbooks or to write things down or just to doodle or things like that. And so I don't mind that. But the videos I saw were like really excessive. Um, people having basically all brands of watercolors but you cannot use that much watercolors even if you would paint every day so I don't know it seems a bit wasteful to be honest another thing since I'm talking about art supplies I would really suggest you not buy sets when you buy sets you always have certain colors in there that are not light fast or colors that you do not want um, and that are kind of useless so unless you really start out, um, if you have nothing at home and you can buy a good quality set, then by all means take a 10 color set or something like that just to get started and then work from there. That's what I did with watercolors. I started with a 12 color set from Schminke that I got for Christmas, I think, three years ago or so from my mom. Uh, she got it in Germany and... Um, that's another thing I wanted to talk about. It's, it's, I, I know I'm, I'm rambling a lot nowadays in my videos, but just let's, let's go with it, okay? <laughs> let's just flow with rambling. So a thing that is important to keep in mind is that when you buy art supplies, buy local ones. They are so much cheaper. I see it all the time, people complaining that Holbein is very expensive of course it's expensive it comes from japan so if you live in europe and you import art supplies from japan they're going to be excessively expensive i mean if you can pay for them by all means do that but if you are looking for high quality art supplies you can buy them from europe as well here in france um Cenelier is a very high quality brand and it's kind of cheap compared to all other brands because it's local so no import fees if you're in Germany, go with Schminke. If you're in the UK, go with Winsor Newton, you know. So um, I think it's really important to understand that local art supplies are always much cheaper, even very high quality ones. And I know sometimes it's kind of tempting to try all, all different brands from different countries, but they're not going to be better. Um, and generally, the difference are minor between very high quality brands uh, there are differences of course but it's it's minor when you use them you're not going to see that much difference but you're going to see a price difference uh, and also it's going to be less accessible when i want new art supplies or need more need than want i just go to my local art supplies shop and i find similarly very easily i find winsor newton very easily and then a bunch of other things like Royal Talents or Carondage, which is from Switzerland. So yeah, the more local you buy, the better the chances to get a decent price and something that is not excessive. Um, yeah, and uh, and if you uh, and if you want to buy sets, just ten is good. Ten is good, and then build up from there. Because if you start buying sets of sixty or more colors. You're not going to use 
half of them and the rest is just going to wait and dry out so don't do that <laughs> yeah that's kind of all i have to say today a little bit a bit of a weird video in a way because i'm i'm showing you new art supplies <laughs> and then <laughs> and then i go and um and tell you not to buy um, excessive art supplies i'm not completely sure how much time is left as i'm going to have to edit the audio but i'm pretty sure i'm going to have to leave some music at the end which is probably going to be amarante as per usual i really hope you enjoyed this video more chill less stressful n not not much meaning today <laughs> Um, more decorative, I guess, more sketchbooky, more, you know, normal, perhaps. In any case, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share. Commenting is really important. By the way, I really, really appreciate you guys, um, the comments you left on my last video, just people just commenting to help with the algorithm. Thank you so much. Honestly, you have no idea how much that helps. So yeah, thank you. Let's, let's do this. Let's make this channel grow a little bit. I've been enjoying doing YouTube videos lately. Um, not going to stop anytime soon. In any case, I really hope you liked it. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. If you want to, if not, that's fine. And I will see you in my next one. Bye. Just like a